Okay, 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 we can do this, right? I mean, this is gonna work? Okay, look yeah? at me. Look at me. You gave the performance of your life before when I arrested you for Tori's murder, right? Mm -hmm. A woman we both know is alive, kicking, and psychotic. But the point is, did she hear about it? Listen, listen, listen she... we're not doing that. No ifs or buts, okay? Right. We're staying focused. Right. We're staying focused. Now think right. about it. You manipulated me a few days ago, right? If anybody can set the stage for drama, it's you. Right. But the thing is, Tori wants to see me behind more bars and more, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to give her. That's good. Okay. okay, that's the Blake I know and love. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. What about my mother? What if she doesn't keep up her end honey, of the bargain? Honey, your mother wants this done as much as you do, okay? Oh, gosh. You're right. It's amazing what guilt will do. Right. I'm sorry. I mean, I really have forgiven her for not telling me about Tori and Ross. It's... I'm I so have... glad to hear about it. Can we talk about this over a few drinks? Can we get inside? It's now or never. For the last time, Mr. Walker, I have no comment about my wife's arrest. Thank you. All I want to do is drink my coffee in peace. Honey. Now, we've covered the arrest, Mr. Marler. It's her bail that I'd like to talk about. I'm sure you would want to talk about that, but we are not going to, and I don't think videotaping a man drinking coffee is going to help your ratings. Her bail was covered immediately. Yeah, well, that's what normally happens when the accused has sufficient resources. Now, if you don't mind, Aside from the spawnings, who could raise that kind of money? Uh, I don't know, but if you want to think it's me, be my guest. But what I do with my money is my business. And don't even dream about asking me whether I think Blake is guilty or not. Go ahead. Ask him, Mr. Walker. He won't answer you, though, because that's what lawyers do. They tap dance their evasive little feet up and down the courthouse steps. And then the vultures like you and the media eat it up. Blake, don't do this. You're only hurting yourself. You not posting my bail is what hurt me. Blake, maybe this isn't the time for what, you to... What, to get advice from a friend who's arrested me, who's glued to my every move? Go ahead, Ross. Tell him what you think. Tell him the truth, that you think I killed your little tramp you had on the side. All I know is that Tory Granger is dead, and I haven't seen anything that indicates your innocence. Life well, sounds like fun. Wish I could be more like you. But you are. I mean, you, you were. And just somewhere in the back of that brain of yours, you gotta remember. You and me. Hello, sweetheart. Bill, nice to see you again. Any coffee for anyone? Uh, well, actually, Bill and I are in our second cup, so. <laughs> well, I guess you've had enough then. Oh, not me, man. I could sit here and drink that stuff all day. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. How your father and Josh would feel about a coffee break like that. You're still working for Lewis Oil, aren't you? Yeah, well, luckily for me, I can cover my break with Beth because I'm here on business. Well, you are? Yeah. What business? Ah, just the usual. Olivia had me run by, pick up some insurance claim forms for the Beacon, and huh. Beth the answered the door. We just started talking about old times. <laughs> oh. So you just, uh, just picked up... Right where you left off last time, huh? Well, yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. You know, Bill, since, since you never really knew Beth before, I, I assume when you say old times, you're referring to when you knew Lorelai in Texas. <laughs> well, does it make a difference one way or another? No, I guess not. I'm sure Lorelai had a lot of acquaintances. Yeah. Uh, the important thing, the important thing is that Beth is back with her family and her friends. at our 50th anniversary party 
and it's gonna be wonderful, but you have to come back to me. And you're gonna come back to me. I don't care what the doctors say because they don't know you. They don't know us. If he'd been wearing a seatbelt, he'd be walking today. They called in uh, other specialists? Yeah. Yeah, and they all say the same thing, you know. Spinal cord injuries are typical for auto accidents. And if it was just that they had to worry about, it'd be one thing. But the fact that they can't seem to relieve the pressure on his brain. And, of course, Cassie can't accept that. Hell, if it were you, I wouldn't be able to accept it either. So. Is everything okay at home? I know that look. What's wrong? No, everything's fine. It's just the usual, you know, bedlam. Oh. Now he's on the kitchen counter. I guess the kids must have been up for. Wedding photos. Yeah. <laughs> so happy together. Mindy must have taken these, huh? It's hard to say. They were, there were cameras on every table, I think. They're so beautiful together. <laughs> Can you take a better picture? He looks great. When he comes back to us, he is just gonna love seeing these. Can I can I take them in there and I show to him? Okay. Yes, most definitely. You know, he can hear me. He can. And it's really important that he knows what's going on and that he knows that we believe in him. much as the next person, but she's deluding herself because the chances are... The chances are he's not going to make it. And if I can't even say it, then how is she going to accept it? A woman who loves him more than her own life. I don't know, Reva. Wasn't you. It wasn't me who was responsible for that accident. It wasn't me, it was somebody else.
time, so I'll get my cleaning done. We're coming to you live on the scene in the midst of a breaking story. Blake, trust me, okay? You are making this worse for oh, yourself. Oh, we can't get any worse. All right, stop videotaping, or I'm going to slap you and the television station with a lawsuit that'll probably destroy the both of you. Oh, that's right? fabulous. Send me to jail and ruin my mother's business all at the same time. Good move, Ross! Blake's out on bail with the... Well, where the hell was I? Kristen! Kristen, I gotta go, all right? Uh, juice bottles are on the... on the stove. Thanks! Now, before you put this on the air, you better check with Holly Reed. She doesn't like this kind of reporting. Not bad. Uh, just keep looking at me like you hate me, okay? We'll be fine. I'm just trying to help, Blake. No, 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 it's just, this is, this is a, uh, <laughs> a not-so-old hiding place of mine. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought, Blake. I thought no, the Tory no. was... Blake, don't worry about anything. Uh, Harley's had two guys on surveillance all day. There's no sign of Tory. Okay, so let's hope that she saw the news, right? Yeah. So what's next? Well, we split up. We split up just like we planned, right? I'm gonna go back to your place, I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I'm gonna meet there, right? Right, right? See you right. there. <laughs> you were wonderful. Truly wonderful. I hated saying those things. Well, yeah, I hated hearing them. But we have to do this. We have to end this nightmare that Tori's brought on us, and we have to move on. We and us? Wow, I remember those words. I think I remember what they mean. You'd better. You'd better believe in them, too, because I believe in us, what we are right now, and what we're going to be, even though we have a ways to go. <sighs> oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not gonna blow this now. Not now. I'll see you in a few, okay? You can depend on it. Blake. What? I love you. I don't want Cassie to give up, but at the same time... At the same time, you're her sister and you... Spare her as much pain as possible. But Reva, this is this is something she's gonna have to come to all by herself. Just wish I'd told her that Richard had a new job at that car dealership because then she probably would have gone to Chicago with him and maybe they would have stopped for the night. You know what? People's lives are filled with maybes. You know, maybe if she had gone with them, she'd be in a hospital bed be oh, here don't herself. Don't even say that. I mean, that's the way life is. We make choices, we make decisions, and then we have consequences. Great. Then do you want to help me decide about telling her the truth and when? I think that when the time is right for Cassie to know the truth, you'll know too, and we'll deal with that. In the meantime... I wait. We all wait. Don't these look great? I mean, they're gonna look much better on the walls at the farm, but, you know, I guess this will just have to do for now. Well... Well, I think I can do better than this, you know, we have so many pictures, so I could, uh, I could bring some stuff from home, and I don't have my purse with me, but, uh, you have some pictures in your wallet that would be perfect. Let's see. All of these can go up. My present for RJ. <sighs> Call McBride to confirm car deal. Give final price. Well, I could handle that.
Mr. McBride? Hi, um, this is Cassie Winslow, um, Richard Winslow's wife. No, we, we haven't met. I just wanted to call and let you know that Richard is in the hospital and, um, well, he's probably going to be here for a little while. So I don't know what kind of car that he was buying from you. Excuse me? You were buying a fleet of cars from Richard? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I just, I don't understand. It's, no, I don't know when they're supposed to arrive. I don't know anything about this at all. Bill, tell me again, what, what exactly is it that you're doing for Olivia? Uh, well, actually, I'm just looking out for Cassie's interest in the Hotel Beacon during the renovations and with Richard in the hospital. It's... She needs somebody to run back and forth, take care of a little business for her? Just happy to do what I can. Well, and uh, Cassie is, is certainly lucky to have your help. Uh, still, though, you don't, don't get stuck here in Springfield. A young man your age, you want to be footloose and fancy free. Nah, I, I do it. Shoot. Would you excuse me? I gotta take this. Sure. Do you mind if I step out to the terrace? Yeah. yeah. Although, if you have to go, I'll be happy to make sure that Olivia gets the papers. That's all right. What was that all about? What was what? Oh, come on. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You're treating Bill like he's a kid. Well, he is a kid. What do you expect, Bill? I've known, I've known the kid since he was in diapers. Well, he's not a kid anymore. Is this because he knew me when I was little? Oh, no. Of course not. No, I'm just, he's, he's a Lewis, you know. You have a Lewis in the house, always a little careful. Oh, now that sounds exactly like, like my like father, he... yes, I know. Yeah, scary, isn't it? Look, you know what? I'm sure Bill is a perfectly nice kid. I'm just being a little cautious, that's all. End of story, okay? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to the kitchen and get some dessert. Do you want anything? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Bring me something. We'll split something. Okay. Hey, uh, where'd Beth go? Uh, she's busy, I guess. Ah, shoot. Ah, uh, well, listen, I gotta hit the road anyway. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, Bill, before you go, uh, do, do you mind if I make a suggestion to you? Uh, yeah, go ahead, but, uh, no promises that I'll take you up on it. I just wanted to remind you that Olivia has an office. Uh, actually, a, a very nice office. Uh, and in the real world, that's where big boys do business. This, I've been wanting to do this all day, even when you were... Screaming like a banshee, huh? I was a banshee. When I think about getting on the boys for screaming and yelling. Soon the kids will be back home, you will be safe, and Tori will be in jail. I hope so, Ross, because I hate this. I especially hate pretending to hate you. It's the sweetest thing you've said to me in months. You're very brave. You know how dangerous Tori is, and yet you're willing to go out there and trap her into telling the truth. Give us a case that's courageous. All right, we don't need any. Thank yeah. you. Give me a break, will you please? Okay, Gus, I'm going to ask you this once. Please leave, otherwise I'm going to call the police. Well, I am the police. So how can I help you? Leaving my house would cover it. Sorry. Blake, no one is going to catch on to us, I promise. I mean, even Gus is oblivious to it, and he is a pretty good barometer, you know? Is that right? Yes, I am listening to every word you said, Mr. McBride, but just none of this makes sense to me. 
No. No, my husband is not a car salesman. He he's an ambassador too. Never mind. Look, you know, I'm sorry. I don't I don't know what else to say to you. I, I I don't. I just it's clear that someone is using his name to sell cars, or you have my husband confused with someone else. Okay, we'll straighten all of this out after he recovers. Yes, thank you. Yes, I understand everything you're saying to me. It's just that I didn't know this. No, no, that's not... You know what? This just really isn't a good time, so... Yes, I'll give Richard your best. Thank you. Hey, what is it? What's wrong? I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't know. Well, did, did you talk to one of his doctors? No, that was the owner of a car dealership. Because something, something is really weird here. And I need you to help me figure it out. Listen, Philip, I got my dad and Josh to give me all the business advice I need. As far as coming by here, that was Olivia's idea. So if you got a problem with that, maybe you should take that up with her. No, I'm taking it up with you, Bill. See, this is my home. This is where my family lives. Beth, my children. Man, how insecure are you about Beth? Not that you are owed an explanation. But Beth has been through hell and back, and I am trying to do my best to look out for her interests. Oh, I, I see. So, me having a cup of coffee with her, that's not in her best interest? Frankly, no. Uh. See, you met a woman named Lorelei. That woman no longer exists. Bringing up that past and that pain is not healthy for her. Oh, so when she asks me about it, or when she calls me and wants to meet me at company to talk about it, I should what, just say no? Yeah, something like that. Yeah? Well, um, mm, I don't think so. Okay. You'll be going back to Texas soon. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. But I don't know, Philip. I'm starting to fall in love with Springfield all over again. I'll tell Beth you said goodbye, Bill. Yeah, you do that. No Ross. There's no Blake. Chris has got the kids out back, so we can talk about this. Okay? Or I'll talk about it. I I, I will do the talking. But let's let's not take this to the extreme. All right? Listen. I'm sorry about what I said. I, that that was mean. I, I shouldn't have said it. But you know, it, it I was a defense thing. It was I was on the defense, and you are absolutely justified in feeling left out of this. But when this thing happened with Blake. I had to make a tough call, and I made the call. But the chief is the one who set the rules. That's something. I would have thought, I would have sworn to anybody that one thing I could say about you is that you would never pass the buck. Not Cooper, she'd never pass the buck. But you know what? There's a lot of stuff I'm learning about you, so I guess I'll just have to. Listen, what? 
Why can't you separate what we have here from what we have on Because the it doesn't work that way. Whatever you're saying, it doesn't work that way. Look, you know as well as I do, what is the motto that cops live by? What is it? Absolute trust saves lives, right? Cops can trust their partners more than they can even trust their own wives or their own husbands. Then I go and I tell you the most important thing in my life. I tell you the most meaningful thing in my life to you because why? Because you make me believe that trust and honesty is all, it's everything. I can't live without it. I won't make it in the department without it. I won't make it in my life without it. And I definitely won't make it in my, I won't make it with you without it, right? Okay. okay. Didn't well, you say that? But see, do you hear that you're making this about you? When I'm not talking about the me's or the you's anymore. I thought it was us. See, that's where I'm at. It is about us, okay? This is about us. But can you just, can you look at my side for one second? Can you just see what I have going on for one second, okay? I'm, I'm not making the best decisions. My, my son's father, Rick, is in the hospital and he's fighting for his life, okay? My best friend's husband is in the hospital in God knows what condition from a horrible car accident. And my other best friend is being stalked by a mad woman, okay? So if I am not making the best decisions here, you're gonna have to cut me some slack because I'm on shaky ground. All right, I heard what you said. But I don't really think that has anything to do with this. Cooper, I've been around the block a couple of times, okay? And I don't know why I'm... But I'm thinking in, in my head that you are... I'm thinking in my mind that you, you thought up this scheme with Blake, and it's your kind of... It's your way to tell me that you want me to pack my bags and go. You know, and if that's the case, please, please, God, just tell me and show me the door because I will be glad to leave. <laughs> you hungry, honey? <laughs> well, I brought enough for Bill. Where is he? He had to go. Philip. Mm-hmm. What did you say to him? I didn't say anything to him. I, we just, we talked for a couple of minutes and then he left. He's a very nice young man. I hope you're not giving him a hard time. You really think that you should be spending quite so much time with that young man? I'm not sure I know what you're getting at here. The truth? Yeah. Look, Beth, you know, you know how I feel about the whole Lorelei thing. Yeah. Okay? That you wish that it had never happened. Well, obviously, that would that would be my first choice, but no, that's actually not the issue okay, here. Okay, so what is the issue? I keep I keep saying this to you over and over again. You are home now. We are through the worst of this. I don't understand why you want to continue to have contact with someone who only knows you as someone else. So, so what do you want me to do? You want me to ignore him? Do you want me to never talk to him again? What do you have to talk to him about? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't, didn't Bill told you that when he met you as Lorelei, you just had a passing friendship, right? Isn't that what he said? Yes. Okay, well then, you, you, Beth, you don't know Bill. You've never known Bill. So I don't understand. I just don't know why, why, why you want to continue this thing. That there just, there doesn't seem to be any point. <laughs> what? You know what? What? You're jealous. Oh! Yes, you are. You're jealous. You're jealous. You're I am. jealous. You're <laughs> jealous. <laughs> <laughs> You think I'm jealous? Yes, I do. And I like it. I like it. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hmm. What would Richard be doing with car dealerships? Uh, tell me again what the, the man said. The first man I spoke to said that he was buying a fleet of cars from Richard's company. We don't have a company, let alone a car dealership. 
And what, what did the second man say? He said that Richard was working for him, that Richard was a new employee. Well, it, it does sound confusing, doesn't it? <laughs> you don't understand. Richard doesn't lie. I mean, he, he, he doesn't. I mean, he's been busy. Yeah, he's been working for San Cristobal. He's the ambassador. I mean, I thought that's why he went to Chicago the night Cassie. of the wedding. Honey. Uh, Richard, he ha hadn't been telling you the whole truth. What? He, uh, well, <laughs> you didn't know this, but your financial picture wasn't very stable. Riva, that's impossible. We, we just listen. To, try, try to listen to me. You and Richard had money problems, big problems. And Richard was trying to find a way to solve them without worrying you. This is crazy. Richard, we, we tell each other everything. And it was more than just the money, sweetie. He, he was trying to find a way to support you and the kids on his own. And then he was going to tell you everything. You know this. He told you? Richard told you and not me? This is better. So you know, this is nice. I like this, too. <laughs> you know, we may have this place to ourselves. You think so? I don't think we might, unless you got a little Bill <laughs> hidden around here somewhere. Bill no, I home. think you scared him off. <laughs> Where's Alan? Still at the office. Yeah, okay, Olivia. Don't know, don't care. What about the kids? Jeanette took them for pizza. Okay. I think I think everybody has something to do and someone to do it with. Including us? That could be arranged. <laughs> you interested? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a hypothetical question. Can someone have a future if they don't have a past? <laughs> Ask me an easy one. I have to <clears throat> dig up my book on the theory of relativity? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually serious. Hmm. Talking about Lorelei again, huh? Yeah. I, I, I've just been thinking about her a lot. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm no expert. All I know is that if you know where you're heading, it doesn't matter as much where you've been. You giving any thought to that? Do you know where you're heading? Be kidding me. We have one fight, one little tiny fight, and you see this, you see this thing with Blake as a, as a setup for trying to get you to move out? I just, I'm asking for the truth. Is that too much? Tell me, if, is that too much to ask for? You want the truth? Okay, I'll give you the truth. Yes, I'd love to have the Great. truth. Where's a garbage bag? I want a garbage bag, okay? 
I mean, from the condition of this house, I'm probably going to need a, need a truckload. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing with that? What, what am I doing? With that? I'm packing your luggage. That's what you carry your stuff around in, isn't it? Look, an ashtray, a dirty, disgusting ashtray, must be yours. And here's your nasty cigarettes and your lighter. Here, all your stuff, and you can take it with you. Oh, and there's, oh, 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 the bad pipe music. The bad pipe music that keeps jumping from the trash back onto the CD rack and back out again. Well, here, you can have that, too. Take it with you. Take it all with you, OK? It's all yours, now and forever. This isn't very easy to explain. Oh, please, Weaver. My husband is fighting for his life, and I'm just now finding out that I don't know what he's been doing for the past month. OK, just listen to me, sweetie. And I don't understand at all why you know something so personal about our family, and I don't. Cassie, he was going to tell you. And it just, it meant so much to him, you know, that he was trying to make a future for you and the kids on his own, with his own talent and his own perseverance. And he told you, my sister. I cannot get mad at you. I cannot, I cannot get mad at him, but we He was that night and you didn't tell me? I couldn't. I, I didn't want to give you any more to deal with. God, that wasn't your decision to make. I want to know everything. I want the truth and I want to know it all here and now. I don't know. But if you want to think I'm the one, be my guest. But what I do with my money is my business. And don't even dream about asking whether or not I think Blake is guilty. No, go ahead, Mr. Walker. Ask him. He won't answer you, of course, because that's what lawyers do. They tap dance their evasive little feet up and down the courthouse step. Hmm. Well, I can hear Daddy now, huh? Not half bad, Chrissy. Not half bad at all. Well, if it isn't the murderous little witch herself. Hi, Blake. Did you miss me? This has been Guiding Light.